The lava flows behind me are part of the Columbia River basalt, large igneous province. They were erupted 16 million years ago and over 600 kilometers to the east of us. From there, they flow to the Pacific Ocean, belching carbon dioxide and sulfur along the way. In the geologic past, massive volcanic eruptions associated with large igneous provinces occurred on land and on the ocean floor that led to catastrophic environmental change. On land, volcanic eruptions released dissolved gases such as water vapor, carbon dioxide, and sulfuric acid. Beneath sea level, eruptions released vast quantities of heat and dissolved metals to the seawater. These metals acted as fertilizers and boosted growth of microscopic plants throughout the surface ocean. Eventually, this extraordinary organic material sank to the deep ocean, where bacteria consumed it, depleting all available oxygen. As oxygen vanished, bottom-dwelling animals died, leading to the extinction of many species. Drilling enables scientists to investigate the volcanic history of large igneous provinces by retrieving sediment cores from beneath the ocean floor. Evidence of environmental destruction and recovery is recorded in marine sediments such as these. The layers of sediment record chemical fingerprints. The preserved fossils found in the sediments reveal past extinctions. Scientists such as sedimentologists, paleo-oceanographers, and petrologists are the detectives who discover these patterns. Approximately 12 minutes uh, total. In this laboratory, we measure the ages of rocks and minerals that come from large igneous provinces to determine if, in fact, these periods correlate with mass extinctions. The past devastation created by large igneous provinces, when volcanoes wiped out huge parts of the plant and animal world, also created opportunities for new species to rise in their place.